Uh, what's in the bag for me at Carsage Golf, Andrew Carsage here. What's up, y'all? I'm, I'm actually in the firehouse right now working, so i um, going to start off with the bag. Got a Sun Mountain bag, uh, C-130, the first responder edition, super awesome. Uh, I love all the compartments into it. We'll get into the compartments and everything later as we go on. But I'm going to start with the clubs, work through those, and then I'll just kind of just show you what I got. We'll just move throughout some things. Uh, first thing I got is some wedges. Got a 60 degree Cleveland CBX full face wedge, 10 degree bounce with the Rotex graphite shaft, uh, golf pride, mid, mid size grip. I enjoy it. It makes me get a feel like I have a better. Next, I got a Callaway Jaws, the raw, uh, 56 degree. It's a 10 degree bounce S grind. Um, I prefer the S grind. Uh, just feel like I have a little bit better contact rather than the W grind or the Z grind. Um, but the weight in the shaft feels good. It's a tour issue, dy dynamic gold spinner. Um, just standard, standard grip that comes with it. I got the same in my 52 degree. It's uh, Jaws, but it's not raw. Um, still 10 degree balance, S grind. Uh, I enjoy hitting the wedges. They're fairly new to the bag, so still kind of working on staying shallow, not being so deep. My irons are Mizuno's. Mizuno JPX 921 Forged. I got these last year. Um, love everything about them. Soft feel. Uh, they're player's iron. My game's really improved since getting these. I got a Modus uh, 3 Tour 105 stiff shaft. Um, I know when I was getting fitted, they recommended the 120, the Tour 120, um, but it just felt a little too heavy for me, even though I swing fast. Um, tour average for a seven iron is 90 miles per hour club speed and 120 mile hour ball speed. I'm currently sitting around 93 club speed, 124 ball speed with a carry of about 187. All the grips are the same, Lampkin standard grips. Um, super comfortable, got a little bit of a grip to them, especially down here in Mississippi with the humidity. Can't have sweaty hands. But I got four through gap wedge. Pitching wedge is 45 degrees. Gap wedge is 50 degrees. And then I go 52, 56, 60 with my wedges. Next one is my putter. I love this putter. It's a PXG uh, 0211. Lightning. This thing is great. I love it because of the weight of the head. The weight is 380 grams. I think it's one of the heaviest on the market. Um, when it lays down, it's got this, uh, I call it a flight simulator, but they got like a runway track here. And the runway track allows me to line the ball up. I just, it's a center face balance. I love it. Um, just got to continue working with some stuff. I got some accessory stuff this year that I'm excited to start working with um, that we'll get into when we get into the pockets. Clubs, uh, I got a three hybrid that I just got from Ping. Uh, it's a Ping 425 three hybrid, 19 degree loft. I got it set at just standard right now. It's got a Rogue 95 TS, so tour shaft. Um, this thing is money. This is my perfect club when I need if I need to hit something high into about 220 225 I can use it or I can use it nice and low and make it go 240 245 next ping g425 three wood lst the lst I like I've got it standard flat lie right now with the atala cb 65 stiff shaft um, I know the shaft is a little bit light for my swing speeds but I can't complain too much because last season was preparing for a couples tournament with my wife at our local club and the face on my pink G410 cracked. Um, so contacted my dealer that I got the club from. He sent it back to Ping. Ping was fortunate enough to upgrade it from a 4 G410 to a 425 LST. And this was the shaft that I had in the old one. Um, and it, they just obviously matched it with the same light kind and quality. So I much appreciate Ping for that. And similar story with my driver. Driver, I got TaylorMade 
SIM 2 driver. The SIM 2, I love this thing. Um, just beautiful to look at, urban look to it. The colors are great. But same concept with this. Last year, I was hitting and I heard a little rattle. So I probably took the driver head off and there was a piece inside. One of the piece of plastic broke. So sent it back to TaylorMade. TaylorMade sent me the SIM 2. And then I have upgraded my shaft, Oban Isawa. It's a 75 grams, 05 flex. This is the stiffest one they make. I love it. I think my swings, swing weight of this club is D4, maybe D4 and a half. Um, this is a nine degree driver. I've got it lowered down to one notch below lower. So that's a degree and a half lower. So I'm playing this at seven and a half, which I like it because it gives me a three degree open face. Um, basically eliminates that left ball for me too much. I enjoy hitting a nice little fade, but I got a jumbo golf pride jumbo grip on here. Makes me feel super comfortable in my hands. But as far as clubs goes, that's what I got. Tailor made driver, ping, three wood, three hybrid. Also Mizuno JPX 921s, four through gap wedge. Then I've got three irons. I know this currently in here is 15 clubs. All right, so going into the pockets, like I said, Sun Mountain C-130 back, first responder edition. It's pretty awesome. It's turnout gear. Uh, in here, got my range finder. So got this from Amazon. I think it's just a Go 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 brand. Thing's awesome. It's got slope calibrations. So next we got tees. Just some regular tees in here. Got my Sharpies on the sides, red, black. This middle compartment. Got my cigar holder, a hook on the clip on the side of the cart, clip it into the side of the cart. Got my cigar holder here. Also works real good in those hot days when I'm not smoking a cigar that while it's on, I can just hook my glove and there's a glove holder. So multi-purpose right here is pretty freaking awesome. Got that. Got my training balls, Taylor Maids. Uh, tour response strike balls. These things are awesome. These are game changers, especially for training purposes. Um, if I'm not playing in a tournament or anything competitive, every time I get up on the green, I'll put these there just for instant feedback to make sure my stroke is good. Got end over end roll. Got some mini tees in here that my wife got me. Um, probably one of the best purchases. These little tees are an inch and a half. They're perfect for fairway woods, hybrids, irons. Uh, I love it. Let's see what else I got here. Some Saints ball markers. Huge Saints fan, huge Drew Brees fan. Um, living, you know, now I'm three hours away from New Orleans, but used to grow up down on the coast here in Ocean Springs. So I was about an hour and a half away. Grew up a huge Saints fan. Got a chalk marker for whenever I'm practicing. Working on putting or even on the range, I'll draw a chalk line, make sure my divots, I'll make sure I'm hitting the I'm not hitting behind the ball too much. It's a good little visual cue as well. That's it for this pocket. Next compartment is just balls. I got some regular balls in here. This right here, Pro V X Pro V1 X. Also, I play the Callaway. Chrome Soft LS X, uh, triple track. Those are awesome. I've experimented with some other balls, TP5X. Uh, no, nothing against those. Um, I feel like they cut up a little easily sometimes, um, with the, especially with the newer wedges. But I think that's just kind of nature of the beast. And then I think I have an extra box from Christmas. There's some TP5 X's. I like the X's. Uh, with my swing speeds, being able to control that spin a little bit. In this compartment, short game gains. It's my 
string line that I can put out, put it on either side, work on my putting. It's pretty awesome because I have these little beads on it. The, there's a black bead in the middle. That's where you put your ball. And then you can adjust the white beads to know your stroke length. It's, it's a game changer. I much appreciate short games here. Uh, Frederick Lindblom and Anna Gregg. Follow them. Links are in the description below. Also, they even made it simple to know your gate and how far off from, if you hit it offline that you can still make it through the gate. Got some iron cover heads in here, and I know before y'all rag me in here, the iron cover heads. I don't get new irons. This is anywhere from a thousand to thirteen hundred dollar set of irons, and I want to make them last as much as possible. So when I travel or whatever, if they're in the back of the truck, I try to cover them up just so they don't get dinged up. Moving on to this outside pouch, it's just a cooler pouch. There's nothing in there right now. Got a little smaller compartment right here, nothing in it. Got a divot tool. Move these towels out of the way. We'll get to them in a second. In this compartment, another set of box of balls, Pro V1s. Got my tool to, if I needed to adjust my clubs. Um, but like I said, I like them where they're currently set, but I was like travel somewhere else. This compartment, some extra gloves. Actually, got me a Mickey Mouse glove from when we went to Disney. My wife and I took a trip to Disney. We were playing the nine hole course and about 30 minutes before our round started, we had one of those great Florida showers, completely drenched everything. Uh, unfortunately, the cart, the push carts didn't get put underneath the canopy or anything, so they were soaked. All our towels were soaked, grips were soaked, whatever. The club manager completely understood. He actually got us a Mickey Mouse towel, got my wife a Minnie Mouse towel, got us new gloves. That way they took care of us, as Disney always does. Disney takes care of us. Anytime you go, they're going to make it right. So going into towels. Got Disney towel, got SpongeBob towel. My wife's a huge SpongeBob fan. That was one of her first gifts when we first started dating 15 years ago. Um, so that towel has been through. So got a For the Brand towel, Pat McAfee, shout out. Uh, Nike towel. So I got a bunch of towels. Sometimes it's usually for sweat, sometimes it's club cleaning, things like that. Got a divot tool, I mean, a uh, groove tool. The groove tool comes with a little pick for getting in your grooves. But obviously, wire brush, rubber brush, retractable. It's nice to whenever we're cleaning on the course, things like that. Also, on the back here, got smart uh, the smart straps that Sun Mountain office. This hooks underneath your cart, and you lock it in, secure it, Velcro it, and that'll keep your bag from leaning sideways whenever you're riding through your cart, things like that. But as far as everything, that's everything in the bag. All my clubs that I use, if you got any questions, comment down below. If I didn't discuss anything or you want to know more about something, ask below. I'm more than likely to help you. Everything I talked about in the video is in the description below. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Everything you do is much appreciated. Y'all have a great day.